Hello, Scorpio. We are going to do a no contact reading today. Somebody who you are not in communication with. Okay. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and comment. Um, clicking that little like button, the little thumbs up helps bring me um, more views, gets me out in front of more people. Okay. So I appreciate that. Also, if you would like to book a, um, a personal reading, all that information is in the description box below. I also give away one free personal reading every single week. To be eligible for that, you're going to want to like, share, subscribe, and comment in the comment section. Hashtag call me. I'm cheesy. It's fine. Okay. All right. So this is a general reading. It's not going to resonate for everybody. It can't, right? So check those other placements. Sun, moon, rising, Venus. Cross watchers welcome. Roles can be reversed. I'm going to lay out a traditional Celtic cross spread, but I've kind of changed the, the meanings up a little bit. All right, bottom of the deck, we have the three of wands. All right, so the person that is not communicating with you, what is their energy right now? Seven of swords, okay. All right, what is your energy right now? Six of wands. In the foundation of the read, what happened that kind of instigated this no contact situation? The eight of pentacles could be a work situation, money situation, the recent past. What happened in the recent past that affected this connection? The two of wands, the crowning or overall energy is the six of pentacles. Coming into the near future, what, what will you experience that affects this connection? The wheel of fortune. In this position, I have my little cheat sheet. Um, what is your energetic effect on them, Scorpio? How does your energy affect this person? The chariot. Cancer energy there. What is their energetic effect on you? How do they affect you? Four of swords. I feel like they make you tired. Your best course of action or advice from the universe is justice, card of Libra. Your potential outcome is the Page of Cups. So there may be some communication. All right, with the Three of Wands on the bottom of the deck. All right, Scorpio, what's going on? What is the Seven of Swords? This person's current energy, it's like they're hiding or running or something. We have the Hermit. Yeah, they're keeping to themselves. I, I don't even think just from you, from everybody. They may be hiding something. What is this hermit seven of swords? You know, they could have even bailed on a relationship and they're not telling anyone about it. They're not talking about it or someone bailed on them. Four of wands. I feel like, I feel like they, um, they may have done, you know, this could be you, this could be your person. I don't judge, whatever. I just read the cards, but somebody here could have done something sneaky. And they don't want people to find out about it. So they are really lying low. But they've done something sneaky in a, in a four of wands. They, they may have done something sneaky to somebody they're married to. Your energy, the six of wands. What is this? What's going on? I feel like whichever person is this six of wands, I feel like they're, you know, living their life in the spotlight. Yeah, Wheel of Fortune. They may be doing something in that, like the public eye that's bringing them in, you know, some good fortune, some good karma, some good juju, some money, some happiness. Yeah. Temperance, card of Sagittarius. Divine timing is certainly at play for this person, but the universe is working in the background to make some of these dreams come true. And they really are. So the foundation of the reading, why is this all happening? Why is this going down? We've got the eight of pentacles. It could have been work, money. What's this eight of pentacles in the foundation of the read for Scorpio? Judgment. Okay. So what I'm getting Scorpio is um, somebody here did somebody dirty. That's just how they're, that's just the way it is. Karma's getting ready to catch up with them though. 
Um, they may have stole money or embezzled money or took money that wasn't theirs or spent money they weren't supposed to or spent money on something they weren't supposed to. But I've got judgment and justice here. So somebody is getting ready to pay. And the fool. Well, this person's going to have to start all over again. Um, Scorpio, I feel like, you know, maybe you just want a clean slate. You're like, I just want to be, be done with this. But you could be the person that they, that they, you know, did dirty. I have no idea. The recent past, the two of wands. Somebody made a decision. Somebody made a choice. What's this two of wands? Queen of Cups. Certainly could be you, but um, I mean, it's like they sacrificed love for something else. What is this Two of Wands? The Nine of Wands. Something that they've been fighting with for a long time. They've really gone through it. What's this nine of wands for Scorpio? What is this? The ace of swords. So I feel like this person just made a bad decision, Scorpio. It could have been you, could have been them. Um, and they were aware that they were making a bad decision and they did it anyway. So the overall energy is this six of pentacles. This is like the, the uh, justice card in the minor arcana. What is this six of pentacles? Libra energy again. They may be asking the person that they screwed over to bail them out of jail or get them out of trouble or take pity on them or something. Yeah, I've got a choice to make. In the near future, we've got this Wheel of Fortune. So at least for somebody, things are looking good. The Eight of Pentacles. There's going to be some money coming in, maybe unexpectedly. The Wheel of Fortune is, is you know, good luck, good karma, just good juju. So you could have some money coming back in, especially if this person, like, took money from you or stole money from you or spent money that they didn't, that they shouldn't have spent. You may be getting that back and it could be in like a court proceedings because we do have, I mean, we have the six of pentacles, we have justice, we have judgment. One of my cards flippity flued. Give me another one for this wheel of fortune, eight of pentacles. Four of cups. That's, that's what fell out. Okay. It's like this person is watching you move on with your life, Scorpio, realizing that they should have done things differently, but they didn't. And now they're just, they're just kind of screwed. So Scorpio, your energetic effect on this person, you've got them running with the chariot card. Yeah, you've got them running scared. I mean, they may very well feel bad about this, but the Three of Pentacles, they know that they owe you money and that it's going to be a slow go to get it back to you. So their energetic effect on you, I feel like they exhaust you. It's like an energy vampire sort of a situation. They play a lot of mind games just to try and get into your head. Yeah, I don't I don't particularly care for this kind of energy, but it's what's coming out. They may very well, you know, you may be leveling up because of this, because you're taking kind of the high road and not falling into, you know, the drama of the situation. 
but also learning a lesson, you know, kind of about who you can trust and how to protect yourself. So your best course of action is justice, right? Almost, It's like, you know, let, let the system work for you. Don't, you know, just, they owe a karmic debt, right? And they should have to pay it. With the chariot card, um, the justice system is certainly catching up to them if it's a legal situation, but justice itself is catching up to them. I don't even feel like you have to do anything. Six of cups. This person may try and like sweet talk you, you know, talking about the past or whatever. But you know, they're in page of cups energy. You know, they're just kind of an immature energy. What is page of cups? Four Scorpio. Page of Cups, Page of Cups. Yeah, you can't count on them. You can't believe what they say. They're in a very immature energy, right? Ten of Pentacles. So this weighs on just more than you. This, this, this affects an entire family, an entire group of people. So here we have the Three of Wands. You know, this person may very well try and, you know, come back around, but it always ends up in an argument, right? But they're running scared right now. They could, this person, um, this is that water energy. This person could be an alcoholic. They could be drinking a lot and it does affect their entire family. They're trying to manifest a way out of it, but they're staying, they're staying very, very stuck. Because they're not willing to, to make the change, I think, that they need to make. All right, Scorpio, that's what I got for you. Okay, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and also comment in the comment section below. Hashtag call me. In the meantime, check out my Dog Days of Summer um, personal reading deal. And I'm sending you tons of love and light. Until next time.